Welcome back outsiders. I'm gonna show you how to make this three-in-one plyo box using one sheet of plywood, a minimal amount of tools, and the best design on the internet. A plyo box is a great de training device. We use it for step-ups. We do step-ups with weights or with our heavy pack. Doing a 500 or 1,000 step-ups can get kind of boring and tedious, but it's super effective for training for climbing mountains. We also use the plyo box for jump training. My boys are training for volleyball and we use it for jumping. So the plyo box is considered three in one. You can change it to be three different heights. Right now it's 20 inches. If I put it on its side like this, we now have 24 inches to jump to. And if I put it to its highest setting, now we have 30 inches to jump. I searched the internet and I found this design from a guy on YouTube called Break It Yourself. It uses a single three quarter inch sheet of plywood or 23, 30 seconds in today's lingo. Those are about $30, you get the unsanded kind. He had a design on his website, which I will post right now. And I'll also put a picture in the description. I took that design to Lowe's and they have a really large saw. And the guy after doing like five or six cuts was able to cut all of these pieces for me, except for the center brace, which I had to uh, cut myself because it needed to be customized for the size once it was all put together. So once you have your plywood cut, you're gonna need your tools. You're gonna need a drill, a bunch of two inch screws. I like these ones, these construction screws with a star bit. It comes with a driver. They don't strip out like Phillips heads. You'll need a small drill bit to do your pilots. And then I have this countersink. Sometimes you can actually get a countersink with a pilot drill bit uh, all in one. And this is so the screws are flush or a little bit under flush. Then you need a paddle bit or a hole saw. This is a one and a half inch paddle bit. This is to drill out the handles. And to do the handles, you also need a jigsaw. And finally, some sandpaper. And if you have a power sander of some sort, that also helps. You're gonna to wanna to sand all the edges, um, sand the tops, the bottoms, the sides, and also the edges to make them somewhat smooth so you don't get splinters. And it just looks a lot nicer. The assembly is pretty straightforward. You're just gonna drill a pilot hole, put a countersink, and then screw it all together. On the 30 inch side, I have five screws. The 24 inch side, I have five screws as well. And I have four going on the 20 inch. Um, and then you're gonna screw your center brace. After you've got everything put together, sanded, the last thing you're gonna wanna do is make a couple of handles. They're very easy to do. Just take your paddle bit and you're gonna drill two holes. And then use your jigsaw to connect the two holes. And uh, I would suggest leaving one side out so you can get the scrap wood. If not, it's not too hard to move the box around and get the scrap wood out of there. And then you can sand the inside and the outside to prevent any splinters. If you need any help assembling it or want to see how it's assembled, check out Break It Yourself's video on making this plyo box. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you wanna see other how-tos, other outdoor adventures, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.